and welcome back everyone to the video series dedicated show on Paramount Plus that has gotten Michelle Branch stuck back in my head. I mean, it's been like 19 years I finally got Are You Happy Now out of my head and now firmly planted in my brain. That's right, we're talking about The Challenge All-Stars Season 3, Episode 9. We have reached the finals. We have gotten deeply into the finals almost. Like, we're almost like halfway through the finals as this episode ends. But before we can get there, let's start off where last episode left off. And that was Kayla and Derek voted into the elimination by the authority of Johnny and Mark. And they called out Kellyanne and Nehemiah. And where last episode left off was right in the middle of Derek versus Nehemiah. And it takes all but two minutes for Nehemiah to get this pole out of Derek's hand, run over, and set it on fire, winning, getting all of Derek's stars, and all Derek got was a one-way ticket back home out of this game. And then we have TJ setting up for the women's elimination between Kayla and Kellyanne. They even get in their stance, they get all helmet and uh, mouth guard in, and they're just getting ready to go at each other. And then all of a sudden, that's when TJ says, Psych! There's a women's elimination, are you kidding me? Like, come on now, Veronica already left. And my mind was thinking, we waited a week for this. Within the first five minutes of this episode, Nehemiah and Derek had already wrapped up, and what we thought was going to happen, happened with Kellyanne and Kayla not having an elimination. Wow, such a great cliffhanger. But we do get a bit of a twist from TJ here where he turns around and says, everybody should be proud of themselves for making it this far and making it to your next challenge. And he tells everybody to join him on the arena floor for their next challenge, which is happening right here, right now. Why didn't we have this as the cliffhanger? Because I don't think anybody expected this to happen. And then we could have theorized of like, what is this competition? Is this for the finals? Is somebody gonna be purged here? What is gonna happen at this moment for this weird competition that we weren't expecting to. So everybody meets TJ down on the arena floor. Everybody dons their challenge gear. Yes, even John A and Mark, who packed an extra set of clothes. And we are gonna be playing a game called Wall of Fame, where in the house, there's this wall of final moments that TJ put up, and it was a strategically put up wall because it was a season long challenge to memorize every single picture and who was in the picture and which final they were. Because at this point, now all the finalists have to play a game for some sort of advantage going into the finals where they have to play a memory game, answer questions, match up the person with what the question is asking in the right order. You win first place, you're good. If you win last place, that's not so good. So TJ gives no information. Some people think that this is going to be a purge, which I didn't think it was gonna be a purge, but you knew it was gonna be for some sort of advantage going on into the finals. I really enjoyed this twist of a challenge to happen at this point. I mean, for them to have something within the game, within the house, it hiding in plain sight where it just looks for decoration, but really plays a purpose later on in the season, I think it's really ingenious, actually. So I enjoyed them trying to do this. It didn't make for ecstatic TV or thrilling TV, but I liked the point of this challenge. And I think it's easy to say that we probably coming into this thought that Wes and John A were going to win first place out of the men and the women, which happens. Wes wins first place overall and the first place for the men. Nehemiah actually gets second overall and second for the men. And then John A gets first place. Then things get a little bit sticky here because Kayla, we know, does not have a good memory. But she is like looking at her board, she's looking at the questions, and then she has a wandering eye over to Naya's board. And Naya thinks that Kayla is cheating off of her. Well, Kayla gets second place on the women's side. She just says like, I can't believe it. I was just guessing on all of them. I mean, come on now. I mean, if the challenge isn't going to say no cheating whatsoever, I mean, they put the blinders on the side to make it harder for players to look on other boards, but it wasn't impossible. And so, yes, you can look at it as cheating, but if the challenge doesn't make a deal of it, then is it really cheating? So Kayla gets second place for the women. Then you get Mark and Kellyanne getting third place and Brad and Naya coming in last place. TJ says that this was all for starting positions because in the finals, there will be staggered starts to start off the race. So that means everybody is in the finals and we know who is going to be starting the race in what position with Wes and John A in first place, Nehemiah and Kayla in second place, Mark and Kellyanne in third place, and Brad and Nia in fourth place. 
This is where Naya calls out Kayla for cheating. She's like, she was cheating. We even go back to the house where Kayla and Naya are talking about everything that happened. And Naya is not wanting to hear anything. Kayla even tries to apologize. Naya's like, well, what's done is done. And you kind of screwed me over out of third place for looking on my board and cheating off of me. Naya is letting this get to her. Like she can't even enjoy this moment of making it to the finals, her first finals in her challenge career. She has to talk about it with Kayla. She goes into the house and talks about it with John A. And John A is like, roll it off your back. You made it to the finals. Now get psyched up and focused on the finals, but now we celebrate. But Nia can't get past it, which made me worry about Nia heading into the finals because of the whole thing that happened with Jordan leaving late in the game and then her not being able to jump out of the helicopter. And now this whole cheating thing with Caleb and her, it's just like, oh my gosh, like, just get focused here. But as we suspected, there was a ton of filler in the rest of this episode as we were heading into the finals around the midway point of this episode. Mark gets a massage from Kelly Ann. Wes and Kelly Ann talk about their challenge journey and how incredible it is that they could be here together going into the finals together after breaking up like 10 years ago and they were together on the ruins on the challenge. And then uh, John A talks to her husband Kayla packs her bags. Naya and Nehemiah work out together and talk about the finals with each other. And then we move on to the women kind of hanging out, reminiscing, possibly going to shed some tears with each other. And then we see uh, Wes Carbo loading it <laughs> while wearing his whitey tighties. Then the last thing we see is all the women skinny dipping in the pool as they keep the all-star tradition alive of somebody, at least one person, swimming in the pool naked. Tech wasn't on this season, the only season he hasn't been on in the all-star realm, and uh, I didn't think we were going to see anybody skinny dipping in the pool, uh, but they keep the all-star season tradition alive. Now, the next morning, everybody wakes up, dons their challenge gear, heading into an airplane to have them fly to an island just off the coast of Panama to meet up with TJ to start this season's finals. And from here, we get the lowdown of what these finals are going to look like. TJ says that this is going to be a race where it's going to be one man and one woman always partnered up on the running portions of this challenge. You're going to be running to checkpoints. And at these checkpoints, you are going to be going head to head. Men are going to be up against men. Women are going to be up against women. You're going to be fighting for points. And there is going to be a point system happening within these finals. You're going to get points based on when you arrive at the checkpoints. So first place gets four points. Second place gets three points. Third place gets two points. And last place gets one point. And then at the checkpoints, you're going to be going head to head to see if you can win five points. If you win your matchup, you get five points. If you don't win your matchup, you get diddly squat. And then you get a new partner for your running mate. Because of the wall of fame challenge that they have already done and know their starting positions, Whoever's going to be starting where is going to be partnered up. So Wes and John A are going to be partnered up in the running portions first. They're going to get a 30 second head start over everybody. Then Nehemiah and Kayla are going to go up, have a little bit of time before Mark and Kellyanne take off in third place. And then Brad and I are going to be coming up the rear. For the first portion of this run, players are going to have to run down the runway, grab a key and take off to their first checkpoint. Now... We come to the point where we finally understand what the stars mean in this game. And because Nehemiah and John A tied for the most stars, both of them had five stars each. They had the most stars out of everybody. They get five points a piece and there's no second place. Nobody else gets points based off their stars. So it's whoever had the most stars coming into this got the points and they each got five points. So they're starting off this race in a pretty good position of five points each. Now, TJ blows that horn. Everybody's taken off at their designated time. And because of everybody's head start on each other, nobody was able to make up some ground heading into the first checkpoint. So Wes and John A arrive first. They each get four points each. And then it was Nehemiah and Kayla, Mark and Kellyanne, Brad and Naya. Then we move into this checkpoint. Players are gonna have to put together a raft, paddle out to a buoy, go around it and come back to shore, be the first player back to shore and you get five points. And the matchups for this first checkpoint was Wes versus Brad, Nehemiah versus Mark, Kellyanne versus Kayla and John A versus Naya. Now I have to say that Wes is crushing it in these finals so far. He is gobbling up as many points as he can. He looks to be the most in shape, to have the most endurance. He seems like he's the most mentally there. It just seems like he is leagues ahead of everyone. I mean, if it wasn't for Nehemiah, which he is doing a solid job in these finals as well, but if it wasn't for his five points, 
I mean, I think West would be leagues and leagues ahead of everybody at this point. He is doing an incredible job. Uh, he mentioned at some point in this episode that I was tanking some of the challenges so people would not think of me as a huge threat, and now it's time to kick it into gear. And out of, like, multiple people who have said that they have done that strategy, I almost believe Wes for how well he is doing in these finals. He easily beats Brad, getting the five points. Nehemiah outdoes everybody in this challenge, getting five points, finishing first overall. Then you have Kayla beating Kelly Ann, who needs a rescue boat. And John A, even though she had a lead on Naya going into the paddling portion, Naya was able to make up a lot of time and get around that buoy and get to the shore first before John A getting five points. Really, really incredible. So the scoreboard after the first checkpoint was Nehemiah had 13, Wes had nine, Mark had two points, Brad had one point, John A first for the women at nine, but Kayla was close behind her at eight, Naya with six, and Kellyanne getting two points. And now everybody has new partners where Wes is now paired up with Kayla, Mark is paired up with John A, Brad is with Kellyanne, and Naya is with Nehemiah with a little bit of run and then a tandem bike ride. And the biggest thing that happens in this tandem bike ride is that Mark and John A's chain break, which leads to them arriving to the next checkpoint, this checkpoint number two, in last place. Wes and Kayla were able to get to the second checkpoint first, then Brad and Kellyanne, despite Brad having a really severe like cramping in his legs, he was almost about to pull a Zach, I feel, but he was able to get some massages from Kellyanne, who is very, very helpful as a partner, and they were able to come in second place to get to this checkpoint, then Nehemiah and Naya, and then Mark and John A are lagging up the rear. We get to the next checkpoint where we see this board with a whole bunch of stars. There's four rows of stars with nine stars in each row. And what players are going to have to do is run to an answer key, look at all the stars, figure out which stars are wrong from the answer key in each row. And that will help you get a code to unlock a box. And if you are the first one to unlock your box in your matchup, you will get five points. The matchups for this checkpoint was Wes versus Mark, Brad versus Nehemiah, Naya versus Kellyanne, and John A versus Kayla. And... Wes does extremely well again in this checkpoint. I mean, he gets first place overall. He absolutely crushes it. Mark was talking about his hamstring hurting him. He doesn't do well with running. Exactly what I thought was going to be the problem with Mark in these finals is exactly what he's struggling with, and that is endurance, long-form running. What do you think was going to happen in these finals? If you were pushing to make the finals, you need to work on your endurance, and Mark just is really struggling here uh, consistently, not being able to win his matchups, consistently coming in the bottom two or bottom one of the arrival orders because he just can't keep up with everybody and their, their running positions. So Wes is able to easily beat out Mark, getting his five points, another five points. Brad and Nehemiah were very close, but Brad was able to edge out Nehemiah, getting five points, but that doesn't deter away from Nehemiah still being in the top two. It just means that Wes actually takes over the top spot this time over Nehemiah by about three points. Then you have Naya beating out Kellyanne and Naya was the first woman to destroy this competition. I think a lot of the players, including myself, was thinking John A had this in the back, especially going up against Kayla. I thought John A was easily gonna get these five points and easily be the best in this checkpoint but Naya is crushing it. Naya is focused. Naya is looking incredible in these finals. Naya gets another five points. Kellyanne, just like Mark, is really lagging behind. She is not doing well in these finals points-wise. And John A was able to win against Kayla. So the scoreboard... After checkpoint two, has Wes in first place with 18 points, Nehemiah with 15 points in second place, Brad with nine points, and Mark with three points in fourth place. John A reclaims the top spot with 15 points, but Naya is close behind her with 13 points. Kayla has 12 points, so the top three women are very much in the race, while Kellyanne, not necessarily out of it because we still have a lot of the finals left to go, but she has five points. She needs to pick it up because... Uh, these finals are just going to get harder and harder and harder. But we did hear from Kellyanne at one point saying, I'm not giving my 100% just yet. And I think it could be smart that she's not going all out in the beginning. So maybe she can hit another gear heading towards the rest of what's happening in the first day of the finals, heading into the night portion, whatever the night portion looks like. And then probably the final stretch 
where they're going to have to climb some mountains or something. Maybe Kellyanne can make up some time there, but we're going to have to wait and see as we get new running mates for the next portion heading into the third checkpoint where we have Nehemiah and Kayla back together, Brad and John A working together, Mark and Kellyanne back together, and Wes and Naya. And we see everybody running down the trail, getting to the beach. We have Brad who is looking better than ever. That massage from Kellyanne while they were getting to the bikes must have worked because he was running so far ahead of everybody at this point, yet John A was kind of back with the pack a little bit, and Brad was like, I need these points. I need these arrival points to start making up some time. I only have nine points. I need to catch up with Nehemiah and Wes, and he was getting frustrated with John A. But that's where this episode ends with everybody grabbing their paddles, grabbing their helmets, their life jackets, and trying to swim out to their kayaks. And we get the to be continued, and we'll get the wrap up of these finals come next week. I think this is an interesting finals. I'm still trying to figure out if I love this format or not. We've seen some point finals in the past. This one's a little bit different, say, than All-Stars 1 or even Free Agents. But I love how some of the results are very, very close, like with Wes and Nehemiah. And even Brad, who's not totally out of it. He's only six points away from Nehemiah. And then you have John A., Naya, and Kayla, who are very close with each other. Only three points separate them all together. I think that these finals are shaping up to be highly contested up until the bitter end, which I'm hoping is the case and I'm hoping is going to be some exciting, exciting challenge to really finish off this season with an explosion. Hopefully everything is going to be tip top, everything is going to be organized and focused that we don't get anything that happened like with last season. But it's shaping up to be a very strong finish to this All-Star season. But that is it for this review and recap. What do you think about the finals so far? Let me know down in the comment section below. Who is impressing you in these finals? Who do you think is doing exactly what you thought? And who is shocking you that they're doing this poorly in the finals so far? Let me know anything and everything you feel about these finals so far down in the comment section below. And what do you think about the Wall of Fame challenge? Let me know anything and everything down in the comment section below. I want to say real quick before I give a special shout out and end this video is that tomorrow's Tiny Table Talk will be a comment palooza. So the whole video will be me reading and commenting to comments left on this video's comment section. I'm going to be trying to take like 15 to 20 comments and it'll, the whole Tiny Table Talk will be a comment palooza. So please leave me any and all comments that you have on this final, on this episode, on this season, down in the comment section below. I wanted to have a special ending because this will be the final Tiny Table Talk for the Challenge All-Stars 3. So I wanted to have a special Tiny Table Talk celebrating all the comments and kind of having a last hurrah for this season and the final Tiny Table Talk. So please leave me any and all comments. I will be taking a ton of them for tomorrow's Tiny Table Talk. And with that, I wanna give a special shout out. Thank you to everyone who supports me over at patreon.com slash angelkfids. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone who is watching this video up to this point. I'll be back very, very soon with more Challenge All-Stars content, more challenge content, more content in general. But until then, peace. Hey. Hey.